heavier rain is just getting started in the capital city, but some areas are already seeing those rising waters as Liz just alluded to. Yeah, in fact, Salt Creek here in Lincoln, nearing that flood stage right now, anyone going or living near streams, rivers, other bodies of water really should be using extra caution. Let's check in right now with meteorologist Alden German. He's at Salt Creek near 3rd and Van Dorn where those levels are rising very quickly, Alden. Good morning, guys. We've gone from one extreme to another with all of the snow that we've had, and now we're getting just a ton of rain, which is adding a flooding concern as well. I'm here live near Salt Creek, near uh, Speedway Circle and Park Boulevard, and you can get an idea of how heavy and how high Salt Creek is. You can see the water moving pretty, uh, pretty at a pretty good clip here. There's also some debris moving along as well, and since we've been out here now for about 30 minutes, it seems like the speed has picked up just a little bit. We haven't really noticed the water rise very much, but uh, I can definitely tell you that the wind is a big factor out here as well, gusting pretty strong. We've already lost one umbrella uh, because of these high winds, and the umbrella I have now is hanging on for dear life. So one thing to definitely be aware of as we go through the rest of the day is that we are in that flood, aerial flood warning until noon tomorrow because of those high waters. So again, it's best to remember that old adage, if you come up to a body of water, you don't know how deep it is, turn around, don't drown because uh, you really don't want to find yourself stranded in flood waters. That is a very dangerous situation. Expecting anywhere from an inch and a half to two inches, maybe even more depending on your location. Liz Whaley will have more on the rain coming up in her full forecast in just a little bit. But for now, reporting live, guys, we'll send it back into you in the studio. Now you can hear that wind out there. Of course, it's not just Salt Creek and Dead Man's Run and Antelope Creek. Uh, these, All these areas, anywhere where you're in a depression, you need to be safe. Thank you, Alden, for your report.